But something tells us there's even more going on. The minute General Hospital's Nicholas threatened to steal Avery away from Ava, we knew he'd made a big mistake. Worse, he compounded it by then turning his back on her, leaving him unable to see the fire shooting out of her eyes, let alone the statue she then beamed him on the head with. Now, it seems Nicholas has paid the ultimate price for his foolishness, or so it seems. Ava apparently single-handedly dragged her husband, who was never a small guy, but recently got even bigger when Adam Huss temporarily stepped into the role, into the stables, and then, when discovered by Austin, pretty easily convinced him not to go to the police. Why danged if he could explain it? I'm not really clear on that, but it feels right, he said. Then, perhaps thinking about his troublemaking cousin Mason, added, families are complicated. Heck, maybe Jimmy Lee's son figures if he ever needs Ava to deal with Mason, he can blackmail her into it. But if you've been watching carefully, something's been slowly but surely percolating between Ava and Austin. Many fans never really took to his now-defunct pairing with Maxie, and Ava seems to be newly single, rip Nick, and ready to mingle. Austin and Ova have done little more than exchange a few witty remarks and some, including us, are ready to jump on board the newly launching ship. The fact that Austin promised to help Ava keep the truth hidden from not only Victor, but Laura and Spencer as well, indicates that the two will be spending an awful lot of time together in the future. What better way for the show to see just how well the characters work together other fans, however, are upset not at Nicholas being killed, but at the increasingly dark path the show has taken him down over the past year or two. As at the Binmaster 2 tweeted, Nicholas Cassidy has been a dumpster fire of a character for the last decade, but threatening to snatch up Avery is probably the worst. They've decimated him. On both Twitter and Facebook, Many agreed with that assessment, while others criticized the way in which the character was killed. Not that most believe he's actually dead. For some, it was impossible to believe that the writers would so cavalierly dispose of Laura's son and Spencer's dad. For others, it was simply that few so characters actually die-die these days. And as at Madelowell pointed out on Twitter, both Finn, a doctor, and Liz, a nurse, declared Peter dead, and, well, we all know how that turned out. If you have information on the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon to get more information videos, and share your friends have a good day.